Alright, it's some guy that looks like Steven with a different haircut. It's Juan. And as I said, I guessed anyway, he was the previous gym leader in Sodopolis. And whatever this compelling reason is, uh, he doesn't tell us. Part 18, by the way. Fighting this fancy ass, uh, fruity Mexican looking dude. Seriously, that's pretty, pretty much what he looks like. He was actually kind of a bitch, but he wasn't nearly as hard as. Wally. Oh no, Wally is a pain in the balls. I really should have had the sixth Pokemon, which could have been anything, but eh. Anyway, one wasn't that hard. See, I mean, Sceptile's fine. Mm hmm. You are lacking in elegance. Perhaps I should make you alone in my outfit? Huh? Yeah, you Yeah, you're hot. You better joke. <laughs> Rain badge. That's, uh, again, relatively cool. It's not up there with the balance badge or the dynamo badge. That was always very cool. And we also get something else. Rain, I don't know how the rain badge is suddenly the equivalent to the earth badge or the, the rising badge. Anyway, get water pulse TM. That's nice of him. I don't know if I'm going to use it either. Unfortunately, yeah. Register him as well. And here's Wally. He challenges us a lot earlier. Try, I mean, not even halfway through the cave. He just da -da -da -da, hello. Yeah, I am kind of surprised. Stronger. Yeah, you are pretty strong. Here I come. Yeah, here you come, indeed. Just watch, this is a pain in the ass. This little green uh, haired kid who was once a fucking pussy is now a pretty tough motherfucker, but at least I made him use one of his full restores. He has two of them venturing. And I do that. I could have fucking killed that bitch if I maybe have had a critical hit, but no. He uses the full restore, which I guess is a good thing, because now I can just kill it anyway. He's not going to waste two on it. No trainer AI in this game is that stupid, luckily. Or unluckily. Your aerial ace does almost nothing. His, yeah, his Altaria is virtually nothing. It's his Gardevoir. Oh god, his Gardevoir. I can see the advantage of Future Sight, but I tend to like Pokemon that... Well, I tend to like it in a moveset that has a more offense to it, which for Gardevoir means I'm probably going to have to teach it something else, such as... Um, Shadow Ball or Thunderbolt. Of course, I really probably should be teaching Thunderbolt to Manectric Bell. I have to. I do have to. Either way. Res um, I'll come out Roselia. I'm just have Roselia in the head because it's right there. Nine Tails doesn't have much of a problem with this. Or Delcaddy. Or Delcaddy, sorry. Ugh. I was talking to the side there a little bit. Alright. Stupid safeguard. He's not going to waste his full restore on Delcaddy either. So, yeah. And people thought this would be a short part. Heck no. This is actually shorter in overall length than the than part 17. And this is just two things. This is me being Juan and me being Wally. That's it. You're gonna see uh, Vibrava evolve in the when I start challenging the Elite Four, which don't hold your breath. That could take me another uh, couple of days just to have to train this uh, into evolve into a Flygon. That will be my prime focus, and then I have to train everybody to at least 45. That's my uh, general goal in Sapphire. It tends to make it competitive enough. Of course, people are asking that. Couldn't you just use uh, Rayquaza? I don't want to have to. I really don't want to have to. Because it's just cheap. It would literally be about even 20 levels above the Champion's Pokemon. Just feels very unfair. I hate how strong this thing is. Come on. Ugh. Why is Psychic doing good damage at all? Or even normal damage against the Dragon? I thought Dragons were supposed to be invincible. Or at least very resistant to any attack. I mean, anything except Dragon and Ice, of course. 
I hate that. I mean, that's the strategy he fucking uses. He has the future side attacks ready to rape your Pokemon. But look how fast this goes. I would think Swallow would have survived a little longer, but Swallow takes one psychic and fucking dies. <sighs> and I only wish that, uh, well, he hadn't used that damn Fold Restore, but he had it. But I, that's the thing. This game doesn't make it challenging. I'll rant on that for the remaining amount of time. This doesn't make it challenging. These people use folder stores and hyper potions and shit. It makes it just tedious. Especially in the case of gym leaders. I can see these people may be using it, but not gym leaders. Gym leaders are supposed to have these Pokemon that are tough enough that they, you don't need to help them. They should be able to kick their challengers' asses to the curb. Just that. Bam. Now, if Whiskash hadn't taken that goddamn future side attack, which I really should have. In retrospect, I probably should have switched that to Gardevoir. It would have been a good... Yeah. yeah. I probably didn't have to use Rest, but... Yeah, I really probably shouldn't have, because... He stays asleep for about three or four turns. Like the retarded catfish he is. All the while, I have to keep trying to keep him alive... With Hyper Potions. Yeah. Oh, durr! I feel retarded now. I could have just used the goddamn Flute. That blue flute. Yeah, I'm not thinking. I really was just not thinking. Oh my god. Well, either way, I mean, if I use the blue flute to wake him up, then it potentially could have been just wiped out by uh, whatever he had used. Alright, alright, we keep going. Whisk Cash could have done it. If I had actually not, uh, if I had just woken it up with the blue flute that's in the inventory, it's terrible. But, uh, come on. And it was because the earthquake effing missed. I really should have just used him as a goddamn meat shield at that point and switched him off to Gardevoir. He really didn't have any more, any more folder stores left. And I make a totally retarded move now. I'm practically regretting it. I really don't want to have to record this battle again, so yeah, I'm just gonna deal with it. It's the reason I'm raising my Pokemon to level 45, which is pretty competitive with uh, everything that we're going up against. Of course, the dart types are the tricky ones. Because if I had a Blaze again, I would have a lot more of an advantage. As you can imagine. Now I just have to rely on Septile's Fury Cutter and just general powerful attacks, which is. Well, I mean, against, say, a Shiftry or a Sharpedo, those can be just taken advantage of their uh, other types. I'm already thinking ahead, but I've, yeah, I've beaten the Elite Four once anyway. That was with save states. Alright, uh, so yeah, I defeated Wally. Who I think we never see again. I'm not sure, I haven't really beaten the game to a significant point. I've really just gotten past the Elite Four and the Champion, gotten that kind of ending. Yeah. Alright, part 18, hope everybody enjoyed it. And I don't know why I kept talking to Wally, the button was being retarded again, but anyway. Part 18 in Pokemon Emerald Journey, I'll be challenging the Elite Four as soon as possible, or as soon as I can really get the footage and things like that. Anyway, hope my subscribers are enjoying this. Uh, probably be done by next week. And see you later.